here is another video on talent interview Q&A and the topic for today's video is uh, restartability and recovery in talent so this is one of the important topic and also widely asked question in most of the talent interviews so I thought I'll make this video in a real-time scenario you may have hundreds of jobs and tables getting loaded in one single workflow Right, if that workflow fails um, in, in between, uh, your design should be such that uh, the restart should happen from the point of failure. Right? For example, if you have hundreds of jobs uh, and the 95th job has failed. So when you restart your workflow, it should actually start from 95th job. Instead of running it again from job 1, it will consume a lot of time and it's not a best practice as well. And if you, um, you know, don't have your uh, you know, loading strategy uh, right, you may even duplicate data in your targets. So it is very important concept. And how do we uh, implement this restartability is um, discussed in this video. So there are two options. The first one is a built-in feature and this is a, a, uh, available only in the enterprise version. Of talent so on studio uh, if you have multiple sub job you can connect it using on sub job ok right so for that on sub job ok link you can enable the error recovery option and um, you know save it and publish on TAC uh, TAC is the administration console wherein you will be able to see the execution history and also you can uh, see the recovery checkpoints if a particular job has failed at a particular step you can choose that particular recovery checkpoint and then uh, click on launch recovery so what this will do is uh, it will uh, restart your job from the point of failure I'll show it in a minute uh, how do we you know enable this feature and check it on tag and uh, the second uh, step for um, in enabling this uh, is a is based on the custom solution you can have a custom flag column in your uh, let's say ETL control table or job execution whatever table you have used for audit right so you can use the same table and either use status uh, column or any other uh, additional flag column and based on that uh, check uh, for the flag you can uh, trigger the sub subsequent you know, sub jobs you can achieve it using run if commands run if uh, links in your uh, jobs right and and this uh, will actually uh, check for the status of a particular sub job and then trigger it and at the end you may choose to update um, the job status uh, of a particular sub job let's say if it is successful then you update otherwise uh, you go back and update it as a you know, failure so that when you restart the workflow it will uh, restart only the jobs that have failed right i'll i'll make a separate video for this custom solution um, so let's look at uh, the built-in feature what we have uh, in talent available so I'm on talent now um, so you may have uh, several jobs right so every job will be linked with on sub job ok so when you click on this on sub job ok and go to the component section so there is a uh, tab called recovery error recovery all you have to do is make a check mark and then give some label right uh, recovery for you know stocks so this this will actually ensure if a particular um, step in stocks fails then uh, you can choose this recovery point and then restart it from um, you know tag so likewise you can enable it for all the other um, you know sub jobs as well so you can mention it as recovery for payments something like that Right, so that you will be able to see this description on tag and from there you can actually choose to restart right so this is how you enable and uh, let me show you on tag you will see a section called monitoring and to that you get a uh, execution history so when you get to that um, all the failed um, check, all the failed tasks will be listed down here along with the checkpoints so if you carefully notice here this is a checkpoint and under this uh, recovery checkpoints tab you will have all the tasks and click on the task that is that you want to uh, recover from right and then you have to click on all launch recovery so this is how you can do it on talent side right for the custom solution that we discussed uh, 
in the last uh, few minutes right uh, I will I will have a separate video for that so we will see that um, custom solution in our next video all right thank you I hope uh, you liked it happy learning